Hey guys, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Paradigm Paradox, going to get all of, hopefully, all of Kamui's other endings today. We got his happy end in the last part, it went a little over, but like, hey, it's okay, we like that. Um, so I've booted up our save four, we're gonna go in the order that these are, so we're gonna get our normal end, so we back up Kaori and Haruka, this is toward the end, um... I'll back you both up with Augment, so can you go help Sena? Alright, we'll handle this before Sena gets out of control. I'll draw out the vectors. I don't know if they're waiting for Yukonami's orders, but they're getting sloppy. I can deal with them myself. Sorry, Mocha. None of that. This is what it means to share responsibilities. I'll do what I can, and you do your part. Oh, this is right, because this is when... Sena was... Was this when... Sena was rushing after was going to run off to see Grandpa. Hmm. That was right. We're a team. Let's go, Haruka. Kaori and Haruka moved, ahe moved ahead towards Sena, and I immediately cast Augment. No one said it out loud, but we're all thinking the same thing. None of us wanted Sena to suffer from amnesia again. It was the only thought on our minds. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now it's, uh... Right, okay, so then this is... No, that was right about. And skip should only be read. Right, this is all the stuff that we've read. Okay, yeah, so... I don't know, does this one have a... Hold on, does this have a... No, this doesn't have a... Not that I can see... Ah, uh, skip to next choice. It does. Okay. All right. Sometimes I like skipping through it, but we got a lot of stuff that we might have to read after this. And this is so like, especially one of the endings. Please try to remember me is the one we choose. Please just try to remember me. I've come to get you. Is it time to cast Foresight? No. My tone was harsher than intended, but Kamui just looked confused. Kamui, you can't stay here. Come with me. I'll take you outside. Why? This is where I belong. It's the only place where I'm useful. I wanted to ask why he thought that, but I just bit my lip, regretting that he felt that way. Okay. And then we can, uh, skip. Which goes to here, and we still choose, I'll respect your decision. And then we'll just, okay. This is it. The days we spent at Mr. Zenji's home were peaceful, and Kamuya recovered his health little by little. We also secretly kept in touch with Kaori during his recovery. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's an acceptable response. Here's how you can contact me when you're ready to return the favor. Okay, so we haven't come up with the plan. Maybe we're not going to. Kaori had given Kamui her contact information back when we escaped from the lab. I notified her that we'd make it to Kamui's fam that we'd made it to Kamui's family home and that we were safe. She just replied that she was relieved to hear it. A few days later, I discussed things with Kamui, and we sent a message to Kaori. We told her we wanted to talk, and she immediately arranged the meeting. The time had come. Kamui and I made our way back to the academy once more. The Blooms were there in the command center to welcome us back. Okay, now I'm assuming it's all the same, but I'm going to leave the skip up just in case it hits a point where it's the same, and then it'll... Okay. Along with the commander in Rio... I expected the higher-ups to send security as well, but Kaori must have persuaded the commander to meet with us alone. My eyes flickered over to Kaori, and she gave me a reassuring nod. Haruka and Mocha nodded as well, feeling an indescribable sense of relief. Oh, wow, I thought that was... Okay. Haruka and Mocha nodded as well. Feeling an indescribable sense of relief, I touched the back of Sena's hand. It's because their sprites are popping in too fast with the skip on. It's not fading nicely, it's like jumping. So I... Th okay. I was like, I can't do that. It's freaking me out. It's, it's hurting my eyes. It's like, bing, bing, bing. I'm like, okay. I need the fade in and fade out movement. Like, it's a little more... It's not as taxing on my brain. I looked to her, and she smiled slightly before taking a step forward. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused. I'm sorry as well. I followed Sena's lead and stepped forward to bow an apology. Then I heard the commander sigh. 
<sighs> you two really, you two have really done it now. I don't think you'd go AWOL. Do you have any idea how difficult you made things for Kaori and the rest of us? The pressure was enormous. I know. Saina turned to Kaori and the others when she heard the commander's words. She was about to bow when... You've got it the wrong way around. Huh? That's right. All the problems started when we became too reliant on foresight. Saina was using foresight five or six times a day when she was locked up, which put her under a ridiculous amount of strain. So we took action to try and do something about those asinine orders. You know that if Saina hadn't escaped, things would have taken a turn for the worse. Well... Cody and the others had backed the commander into a corner. He scowled back at them, but didn't say anything further. Rio spoke up instead. <laughs> you know, somebody here made a similar argument to the higher-ups. What? Does that mean... Something about how keeping Sena under lock and key would only make things worse. That it would be better to help her recover. Or am I misremembering something, Commander? I like how he's trying to play it cool, despite the fact that Misaki seems like the type of guy who's like, What? No, I'm on your side, man! I'm cool! I'm a cool older guy! Like, you know what I mean? And instead he's like, God, you guys! And then Rio's over there like, Didn't you say the same thing? He's like, Shut up, man! I'm trying to be responsible. <laughs> This man's so weird. Rio gave him a meaningful smile, but the commander simply shrugged without confirming or denying it. So he was fighting the higher-ups, too. What's done is done, and arguing about it will get us nowhere. Let's just hear why these two came back. We wanted to suggest a new strategy. Do you? How interesting. Rio looked as if he were sizing us up, but Sena just gave him a gentle smile. So this is like the process of getting to the good end, but the good end just kind of cut all this out, which is just weird. Predicting the appearance of vectors is one thing, but for everyone's safety, it's even more important to stop them from attacking. Stop them? I can't exactly negotiate with them, though. What do you have in mind? We'd have to use force. I guess we could try to destroy their base, but that doesn't seem very realistic. No, we don't need to go that far. My suggestion is to predict the path and defeat them before they get to the colony. What does that mean? You changed the focus of your foresight, right? Correct. Until now, I've been predicting, I've been predicting the time at which they would launch their attack. But from now on, I shall focus on before they reach the outer wall. By predicting their path, we can hit them before they even breach the colony. Everyone was speechless. Even the commander and Rio looked caught off guard as they couldn't hide their surprise. I get it. I was also at a loss for words when Kamui first explained it to me. How does that sound? It's definitely worth considering. If it's possible, it'd turn the tide in our favor. Hold on. We'd still be relying on your foresight. It wouldn't reduce your strain at all. And no need to worry about that. I have Spacey on my side. My augment ability can reduce Sano's load. Sina can also focus on backline support during battle and reduce the number of times she casts Foresight. I looked to the commander to gauge his reaction. He just smiled wryly, wryly and shrugged. I'll handle the negotiations on our end. Of course, you'll need to prove that this strategy is effective first. Hey. Oh, he laughed, not say hey. Sorry. <laughs> Looks like you finally have a card to play against the higher-ups. Aren't you glad, commander? Hmm... I cast a questioning glance over to them, but the commander just looked disquieted. It won't matter if it doesn't get results. Has the commander been fighting with the higher-ups this whole time and we just didn't know? What's what I've been saying? Well, okay, he could, like, don't get me wrong, like, he could still be shady, but I feel like he's trying to help us and he gives a crap. You know what I mean? And I don't think they're, like, you know, while he could be like, oh! Commander, and look at me, I'm everybody's friend. And then he's trying to stab us in the back. We already know Rio's playing that role. So, like, well, he's just stoic and quiet over there, but like, we know he's the stabby in the backy guy, right? But, like, they could always fool me because they've fooled me before in games. We've seen it recently. You know, where you're like, look at you, you're an adorable dog. <gasps> what do you mean you're the mastermind? You're an idiot. 
<laughs> like, you know what I mean? And he comes across as a lovable idiot. Granted, we know he's a goddamn fucking genius because he's a researcher, so you know he's smart. He just kind of acts like a dumbass. Like, so that could just totally be hiding, like, oh, he's really actually evil underneath. But I don't really think he is. I think he's just, like, you know, he's playing the lovable dumbass, acting like he can't do anything because... He doesn't want, maybe he doesn't want to make promises he can't keep. He's like, I'm fighting with the higher-ups, and I'm like, yeah, there's nothing I can do! Because I've been fighting this battle, and they won't let me, and I didn't want to let you down by saying I would try to fight the battle and getting your hopes up and then failing. You know what I mean? Like, aw. How adorable. Anyway. Um, anyway. First, we have to prove Santa's plan isn't just a theory. That proof's in the pudding, as they say. Let us try it out immediately. Spacey, if you please. You got it! I watched Sana as she began to cast Foresight and unleashed Augment at the same time. Hmm. I see them. I've pinpointed the path the Vectors are using. Really? Yes, they're heading this way right now. Talk about timing. Let us go intercept them. It's been a while since we all fought together. A wave of nostalgia crashed over me, but at the same time, I wondered if this was really the right decision. Now, I can't second-guess this. I've decided to support Sena, To support Kamui. I need to focus on what I have to do. Let's move out! So I'm gonna guess we don't have our romanti romancy ending. You know what I mean? Like, because this is similar to the path that it took, but the other one he went and he gave up Sena's powers because he knew he was losing them, but maybe this one will be like the we just kind of drag it out a little. Sana's prediction was correct, and we were able to intercept vectors led by Yukonami outside the colony. We used our success to bargain with the higher-ups and changed our strategy to focus on defending the vectors before they got to the colony. We'd easily resolve the issue of Sana being locked up and reduce the damage caused by the vectors. Everything seemed to be going our way. However, there was something else I needed to do to ensure things stayed on course. Ah. Dear Uncle Yashima, thank you for your email. I'm sorry I haven't been able to respond. Things have been so busy lately. <sighs> I should have responded sooner. I'm sure he's been worried about me. I looked over my email history and sighed. The last time he'd sent me an email was right after they decided not to keep Santa locked up. I hadn't been emailing him, so he contacted me because he was concerned. I've been busy with the bloom, so it wasn't a lie to say things had been hectic. But there was another reason I hadn't replied yet. As I went through my emails, I saw one of the messages I previously sent him. I'd written it right after I'd found out that Kamui and Sena were the same person, and in the email I'd expressed my desire to be closer to him. Uncle Yashima's reply helped me realize how much I wanted to get to know Kamui better. A lot of things had happened since then. Too many to count, really. I'd thought it all over and had reached a, de and had reached a decision. Well, wish me luck, Uncle Yashima. I'm going to tell that boy I love him. The next day, I told Mr. Kuramori I had to speak with him about something important. He told me to meet him on the academy roof after school. I imagine he didn't want the others dropping by, so he didn't choose the prep room. There you are. Sorry to keep you waiting. The staff meeting took forever. I'm in love with you! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be a fucked up weird end. I don't think that'd be a normal end. It's totally fine. I'm the one who has to meet after all. So what did you want to talk about? Do you need to review something for class, or... Is this official Blooms business? Yes, I wanted to talk to you as a member of the Blooms. I see. Guess my hunch was correct. Mr. Kuramori muttered that last bit to himself and then instantly switched into commander mode. Yeah, because he knows. Since you asked to speak with me alone, I assume it's not good news. Commander, how do you think Sena is doing? I posed the question without responding to his comment but the commander didn't seem offended and rather took a moment to think before answering. She's regained her accuracy with foresight and seems to be getting better all around, but I take it you've noticed something wrong. Well, not as of now. I see. You're saying there's no issue now, but you're worried there could be in the future. No matter how much support you give her with Augment, it won't take away her strain entirely. As long as Sena continues to use her powers, the side effects could pop up at any time, and our war with the Vectors has no end in sight. The commander didn't try to hide his exhaustion. 
That's what got me thinking. I drew myself up and took a few deep breaths. I'd already made my decision. This was the only way, but saying it out loud still made me nervous. Do I still have any doubts? Maybe I'm way off base. No, that's not it. A part of me just doesn't want to say it. Hey, check it out. I managed to snag a roast cutlet sandwich. Want to split it? You like these, right? Sorry, I was looking at that little swirl of hair you got there. Oh, you didn't know? It's totally adorable. Couldn't help but be distracted. I like these little flashbacks of him flirting. I had a really nice dream the other day. You want to know what it's about? <laughs> I can't tell you. It might come true after all. All the conversations I'd had with Kamui surfaced in my mind, overflowing like water from a cup. His bright, gentle smile radiated throughout. There's no going back. If I wanted to protect Kamui, there was only one thing I could do. I won't fall in love with anyone. I can't... I can maintain my power so long as I don't fall in love. I'll be able to keep supporting Sena and everyone else. Besides... Oh, I don't like this. The normal ending is like, I refuse to let myself love him. Oh. It's just... If Sena's accuracy goes down because of me... Well, if I don't fall in love, I don't think there'll be a situation where Sena, where Sena will lose her powers. At least until... No, never mind. I stop myself from saying the next bit. Until Kamui finds another person to love. I couldn't bear to say those words out loud. So I really do have feelings for him. This is kind of like a bad ending. But I knew these budding feelings would never bloom. They'd wither away their existence unknown to anyone. That was my fate. That's why I'm never going to fall in love. I promise you that. He's like, ugh. Idiot. The commander didn't say anything at first. He simply stared at me and then gave a small smile. All right. That's all he said before looking away. I feel like... I really want him to be the person that set our... Like, let our parents kind of escape. I really want that whole situation to have been our parents. He let our parents escape. Because he was like, that's more important than this. You know what I mean? Like... You know, other people will be around to save the world. You only have one chance to fall in love like this. And then I want him to be our Uncle Yashima. You know what I mean? The person we write to. And he's like, he's like, you guys can never fall in love. And then he secretly likes seen and he's like, oh, I love it. He's secretly happy about it. He's like, oh, dear God. And then, but really inside, he's like, yeah. You know what I mean? But he can't say it. But he can't be like, idiot. If you fall in love, just fall in love. God damn it. You know what I mean? Like, he's got to tell us we can't, but he's secretly inside hoping that we do. Or, like, if they do, I'm going to be okay. If they don't, fine. But if they do, good, good, he gumdrops them and be so happy. You know what I mean? Like, because, like, his reaction to be like, okay, good. Because you shouldn't. He's just like, okay. And he's just totally just sitting there with no reaction. And the no reaction makes me feel like he's just hiding something. You know what I mean? Because if he... If you really believe, like, you can't fall in love. And we were like, I'm never going to. He's like, good. I fucking told you you shouldn't, dumbass. He'd be like, yeah, good. Huh. Instead of the whole, okay. Just blankly staring at us, no reaction at all. No reaction is more of a reaction than just being like, yeah, duh. You know? I'm going back in, but you take your time. And the sunset's beautiful, after all. Mr. Cormari patted me on the shoulder as he walked past. Just two gentle taps. Tears blurred my vision as I watched the sun waver in the distance and sink beneath the ocean. Yeah, because he knows. He's like, know you were in love with him and you fight that battle, girl. But like, he's, he can't say anything. And that's so sad at the same time. Aww. That's why we don't get a CG with this one. Sina's predictions remained accurate and we managed to intercept the vectors before they entered the colony. Even Yukinami noticed something strange was going on, but he wasn't able to counteract our strategy. Speezy, please wait. What's wrong? Oh, did I forget something in the command center? I forced a smile and slowly turned around. Sena was the one who stopped me, but she suddenly turned nervous when she saw my face, because we're trying so hard to avoid her. Oh. No, it's not that, it's just... Oh, Sena, behind you. What? Oh, good, you two are still here. Did either of you leave a towel in the command center? No, that's not mine. Oh, it's mine. How embarrassing. 
I thought it was yours. I've been kind of out of it late. You've been kind of out of it lately, Sena. Something on your mind. Sena glanced around awkwardly. Soon she settled her gaze on me. Uh, Sena? I realize we haven't been talking much, Spacey. So she did notice. As I tried to think of some excuse, Mocha's eyes widened in surprise. Huh? You haven't? But you were talking just now like you always do. Speaking during a mission is different. You mean like just shooting the breeze? You don't even do that with me. Well, that would be because... Mocha didn't mean any harm, but Sena stumbled over how to respond when she put it so bluntly. <laughs> because I'm not in love with you. <gasps> Mocha's like, <gasps> I'm offended! But actually, that's probably good, because outside this magical girl from you're probably a dude like me, and that would be awkward, because... Well, it'd be great. I mean, it'd be great if you were gay, but I'm gonna guess you're not, because you're my boyfriend, so... So... <laughs> That'd be very complicated. This would be it. This is an interesting bit of. This is an interesting man harem. I don't know. Like, is it gay if one of them is in magical girl form and the other one's in their normal form, or is that straight because the other person's still technically a girl, but is also a guy inside of a girl's body? Like, how does that work? Figure the debate. Interesting. I guess everybody's just a little bisexual here. What ifs? It works. <laughs> it's like, huh? Anyway. They almost teared up seeing how miserable she looked. Since my meeting with the commander, I'd kept my distance from Kamui and didn't say anything to him. He was undoubtedly confused by my change in attitude and probably upset about it. Oh, I don't like this normal ending. I can't stay by Kamui's side any longer, but I think I can still be friends with Sena. Hey, Sena, how about we get together with Mocha and the others for some tea? We'll come in. We'll commandeer the command center and talk all day. Yes, please. Sena's effervescent smile practically sparkled. Well, I guess I don't mind joining one time. Then it's settled. I'll be sure to bring some excellent tea. Happiness welled up inside me when I saw how motivated Sena was. But at the same time, I had to remind myself to set strict boundaries. I'm finally going to have Kamui's tea again. Wait, I shouldn't be thinking like this. I'm dealing with Sena here. I clenched my cold, pale hands into fists. I've let Kamui go twice now, but I won't allow him to be alone. At least not until someone else can take his hand. Until that day comes, I'll fight as a member of the Blooms. That's a promise. See, the thing that I hate about this is because like, we know from the best ending that she doesn't seem to lose her powers. You know what I mean? When uh, she falls in love. Because he's like, wait. You, and you were like, whatever. And she's like, I love you. To him in her head. She hasn't said it out loud. But the feelings exist. Doesn't matter. And he never said his feelings out loud. Him having them is what stopped his abilities. You know what I mean? But anyway, bad ending three. Oh, whoops. I loaded the wrong one. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This is, uh, hold on. Oh, whoops. Uh, I, w I loaded the wrong one. Bad ending three is save file two. I It's bad ending three, but so. That's this one. <laughs> I was thinking three and three, but I want to do them in order. Uh, okay, snap out of it! Kamui, snap out of it! I got right in his face and shouted, but he just kept looking upwards as if he didn't hear me. Kamui! I felt uneasy and started shaking his shoulders. After a few minutes, he finally responded. Huh? Well, hey, what's going on? Thank goodness. I thought you weren't going to come back to reality. Oh, uh, yeah, I got tired after the broadcast and fell kind of out of it. Kind of? I was really worried about you. Yeah, sorry about that. This one has a CG. Kamui sounded truly sorry. He flashed me a reassuring smile. Okay. Um... Yes, and then we go to... We'll do our best. I'm not sure how well, man how well I'll manage, but I'll do the best that I can. Oops, sorry. I hit the wrong button. I appreciate it nonetheless. This is something I can only ask you to do. Mr. Zenji shook my hand as he smiled with relief. Okay. I won't say a word. We're doing all the wrong choices. I won't say a word. Really? That's great. Thanks a bunch. 
Kamumi was obviously relieved, and he gave a small sigh as if a big weight had been lifted. To be honest, knowing your personality, I thought it'd be an unreasonable ask. Do you really think I'm so rigid? I'll have you know I'm actually quite flexible. I responded with a little joke, but Kamui was right. A sense of guilt had already latched onto me like a thorn. I don't want to lie to Kamui, but I'm sure Mr. Zenji would rather know the truth than to have things kept from him. I endured the pain and smiled back at him. Yes? We still cast Augment. Okay. And then we... Let's all chase after him! Mocha and I can back you up. Let's go after him. I'd like to do that, but what about Sena? It's all right. I'll protect her. You can't do all that. I'll take care of Sena. You should go with Kaori and Haruka. But we're all part of the Blooms, right? And trust me on this. That's right. Isn't that what we're teammates for? You don't need to take on everything by yourself. You better decide or else we won't be able to catch him. All right, let's go. I put my trust in, in my teammates and decided to leave Sena and go after Yukonami. But then... Then Moravia shows up. Okay. Skip to next choice. Cast Augment and Fight. I'll use Augment and Fight with my full power. How does that sound? And direct to the point. I like it. Everyone took Sena's smile as a signal and dashed toward the vectors. Let's finish this right now. You got it! It's so reassuring when the five of us are together. My fatigue from earlier dissipated, and I unleashed Augment with full force. Okay. Next choice. Back up Kaori and Haruka. Okay, well, this is... And now we're heading toward a bad end. Please try to remember me. Let's quit the mission. Here we go. Let's just quit the mission. But if I quit, everyone else will too. I've talked about this with the others. We all think it's wrong to force you to take on all the responsibility alone. I don't know if we'll actually, like, get anything different, but we'll see. Did they really say that? I nodded and Kamui went quiet, pondering what I said. Okay. Back when we escaped the lab, Kamui gave Kamui a piece of paper with her contact information on it. We waited until Kamui felt like he'd recovered, then contacted Kamui and set up a meeting. He still wanted to fight the Vectors as part of the Blooms. Do you understand what you've done? Yes, and I'm star and I'm sorry. I apologize for the trouble I've caused. You weren't even gone a week. Must be a record for shortest escape attempt. Real, this is no laughing matter. But wouldn't you say it worked out for the best? Things would have only gotten worse if Sena had stayed in the research district. It was the right call to have Sena pass her foresight predictions on through Kaori. Huh? Sena needed a break. It was imperative she recover her accuracy, and that was just the reason you needed to push back against the higher-ups. Well, that was... Uh... Rio laughed suggestively, and the commander grew quiet with embarrassment. So the commander fought with the higher-ups. I've been seriously worried they would just lock Sena up again when we returned to the academy. But only the members of the Blooms, the Commander, and Rio were there to meet us, and they gave the oppor gave us the opportunity to say our piece. I shall not run or hide. I intend to deploy my strength as a member of the Blooms. So please, don't send me back to the research district. Allow me to fight with everyone on the front lines. So that's the answer you've come to. Yes, it is. Sena directed her gaze toward me, and I nodded. Kaori spoke up then. Are you okay with this? Yes, if that's what Sena wants. I see. You sure? Won't she totally overdo it? She wouldn't have brought Sena back if she was against it. We should respect their decision. I guess, but still. Mocha didn't sound convinced at all and was about to continue when a dull chime sounded. It's noon. According to Sena, Vectors will appear at the Outer Wall in 30 minutes. Kaori and Haruka, head out there as the vanguard. Roger! The rest of you remain on standby. Move out once the vectors have been spotted. Understood. Roger, sir! The vectors could have been a bit more considerate with their timing. <sighs> oh well, Roger that. From then 
on, just as she said, Sana employed her powers even more than before. She cast Foresight without hesitation, while I provided support with Augment. She gonna forget everything? The battles dragged on relentlessly. Eventually, Kamui shut himself in his room when he wasn't transformed and slept for hours on end. I wonder if Kamui's okay. He said he was feverish and he didn't respond to my messages last night. Maybe I should consult with the commander. I headed to the chem lab prep room after school and found someone already there. Huh? Kamui? Kamui sat in a chair, looking dazed. Was he feeling faint? Kamui, are you okay? I rushed over to him and he looked up at me with empty eyes. It was as if, it, it was as if he was looking right through me. Yeah, he don't remember shit. Don't tell me... Who are you? It finally happened. Kamui had forgotten about me. It's alright. Just stay calm. I promised I'd help him remember. Yeah, I mean, I knew they were going to do it in a bad ending, but, like, I didn't know it was going to be, like, the main bad ending. There's, like, short bad ends. I kind of figured it'd be one of those. But no. Oh, look at his little sad face with his empty eyes. I trembled as I took Kamui's hand. No, I don't like this, CG. It's sad. Kamui, it's me. Spacey. Spacey? Who am I? His words knocked the wind out of me. I tried to gulp down some air, but only managed to draw on a ragged breath across my dry lips. I wanted to respect Kamui's decision, so I agreed to come back to the academy. But I was wrong. I should have stopped him, even if he hated me for it. Do you know who I am? I do. I nodded quietly and grasped his hand tighter. Let's go back to see Mr. Zenji. Go back to where? To Mr. Zenji's home. He's your family. You love him. Zenji? Zenji. Kamui just sat there, repeating Mr. Zenji's name over and over again. He'd forgotten about his grandfather, too. <laughs> so sad, I hate this. I noticed tears rolling down his cheeks. Perhaps he did feel the loss somewhere deep within his heart. Oh! Oh! Oh, I hate you, game. That's so mean. Oh. Okay, so short, bad end, save file one, which is this one. All right. So take a look outside. We probably end up dead in this one. Kamui! I quickly ran over to Kamui. Spacey, you're still here? Everyone's so confused, though I don't blame them. Are you all right? I wanted to reassure Kamui, so I tried to act confident. Yes, could you handle things here? Sure, but what are you going to do? I'm going to take a look outside. I answered him and then immediately took off. I heard Kamui in the distance shouting for me to stop, but I paid him no need. No need? I mean, no mind. As I reached for my charm. Or no heed. Paid no heed to what he's saying. You know, I'm going to protect you, Kamui. I hoped that he would help everyone evacuate safely while I held off the vectors. That was the only thought in my mind. However, an unfathomable number of vectors chased me down next to the academy. I couldn't fight them all by myself, but by the time I realized that, a vector's piercing claws had sunk deep into my chest. Spacey! Uh, I can hear Sana's voice. This cannot, oh, this cannot be happening. Please, open your eyes. That's why they're short bad ends. We basically died. Sana rushed over and tried to lift me up, but it was too late. All I could do was weakly close my eyes. Dead. God damn. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's beautiful, too. But, like, Tokyo is still, like, I think one of my favorites. There's just something about him. He's just too beautiful. Uh, yeah, save file three is our last one. Okay. Another bad end. And then, yeah. I'll go after him. I die. I'll go after you, Konami. You will take care of Sena. Kaori and the others tried to stop me, but I took off in the direction Yukonami disappeared. We're gonna die now. I caught a glimpse of Yukonami's back before a loud roar rang in my ears. Perhaps the vectors had been following Yukonami as he fled. I was caught off guard, and in the next instant, the vector's sharp claws pierced my back. 
I wonder if they managed to get Sana back safely. I recalled Sana's face with my last breaths. As my consciousness faded, I prayed for her safety. Well, that was quick. Thought Yukonami would kill me, but no! Just died pretty instantly. I! Well, there you go. We died pretty instantly. All right. So we can read all of these ones. Um... So, okay, so these are all the Blooms ones, and then all of Kamui's have his name. So we'll just remember it's the first three. I'll write them down after one. Unknown. Oh, right, because Unknown would be the bad guys, which we don't have any yet, obviously. And then Top Secret, and then Void. Okay, so let's just do the Bloom ones. We'll start at the top, because I think it's the, the, uh, the Void one is the last CG. So we'll just start at the top and work our way down. Conversation one. Oh, my God, he... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... My... I died for a second. I'm really glad that I said literally like two minutes ago, Tokyo is one of my favorites. He's beautiful. Like, whatever. And then we open this and I'm like, oh, my God. I stopped. I forgot how to breathe. He's wearing glasses. You did not do that. I want to be offended and be like, how dare you, game? But meanwhile, I say that with the biggest fucking smile on my face. My face hurts. How dare you? Like, thank you. Oh, my God. Stop it. You made the pretty boy the one that I'm like, he's really beautiful. He's distracting me. And then you put glasses on him. Normally, he would distract me because he had glasses. But you did that to me after the fact. I didn't know about this. <sighs> I'm going to die. I might die. Oh my god. Ayumu is beautiful too. Don't get me wrong. He's lovely. But Tokyo, there's just something about him. It's also, I think it's his piercing yellow eyes. There's just something about it that you're like, I don't. Those haunting eyes. <laughs> he has the goofiest faces and the giant saucer eyes as Kaori. Okay. And then you put glasses on him. <sighs> I... It's a good thing I'm sitting down, because I might have fallen. Guys, I've fallen, and I can't breathe anymore. Anyway. Hey, Tokyo, can I have a word? Huh? Class is already over. Did the bell ring? Look at <laughs> Look at him. Gotta heal up. It's so weird. It's also very disjointed, because you're like, wait, 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 wait. Now I've got you guys in front of me, instead of in your girl forms, and I don't know how to process this right now. <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> Oh, it's beyond over. It's lunchtime now. I came here hoping to talk to you while you wait. Oh, right. Well then, have a seat. Oh, but I don't really need to eat. Look at, look at him. Look at, look at, just look. He got, and then he's got his little clips in his hair. Oh my god, he's so adorable. And he's got glasses, guys. I brought you lunch from the student store too. Oh, I brought you lunch from the student store too. Well, eat up, all right. Since sandwiches can be eaten with one hand, you don't even have to do any heavy lifting. Here. All right, all right, I'll eat. Just as long as I can keep working on research while you talk. That's the benefit of eating with one hand, right? Sure, knock yourself out. It's nothing major anyway, I just wanted to talk. Hmm, all right. I'll put my research aside for now and listen to what you have to say. It's not often you want to have a discussion. Look at his little face, he's so adorable. Well, I can't deny that I'd prefer for you to listen with both ears. And just hurry up and eat your lunch, though. They're so adorable. They're little besties. Yeah, yeah. Chomp, munch, munch, gulp. Okay, I'm not making the food noises, but whatever. Well, what's on your mind? It's about the Blooms. You know how we just got a new recruit, right? Were you surprised when we first met her? Okay, so this answers that question that we had, like, last part or the one before. I don't remember which one it was in. It was probably in the last part. Um, Of, like, I feel like when... Kaori saw Kamui, it was like, <gasps> so she knows. Okay, anyway, and I'm like, especially because they already said, like, okay, I thought they all knew who each other was. Like, they all knew each other. Obviously, as not just as the girls, but in their boy forms. They all knew who was who, right? But then Kamui's like, I have no clue. So then it was like, I figured when he made the comment that these two, like, had joined earlier, 
Plus, they're always seen together. We know they're friends. Lizzie explained that to us. It's like they know each other. They knew. And then when Kaori saw, it's like, I'm wondering if Kaori and Haruka, obviously they know, who the, now we know for a fact, they both know who the other is. I figured that was a given, but at least it came out like, yeah, I feel like they would know each other, but they might know who the other two are. They might know Mocha and Sena, secret identities in a way. Even if they don't, they're probably like, they're magical boys. Because, but they know each other. So this just answered that question 100%. Yes. Haruka and Kaori know the secret identity of the other because they're besties and they joined the blooms together. So makes sense. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I was. We haven't run into a civilian during a mission for a long time. Right. There have only been a handful of instances as instances since we joined the blooms so this is after they found uh okay right what was she doing over there at that hour though well it's just before curfew maybe she lost track of time because she was out having fun that happens sometimes look at his little mad face he's so adorable i love him so much do you think that's what happened to her that she was alone she doesn't strike me as the type to lose track of time either was it really just a coincidence or was it perhaps a fateful encounter? Interesting, interesting, bringing up some plot questions. You seem to be thinking a lot about her. Are you curious about her at all, Tokyo? A new recruit itself is worth of it is worthy of interest. Ever since we became a team of four, I figured that's how it would stay. Well, I thought the same. And I'll let you mention it up. Mention it up. Mention it up. I don't... That sounds awkward. Anyway, I'll let you mention it. I am pretty curious about our new member. Why did she come out of the scuffle unscathed? Yeah, that's the thing that bothers me the most. And the commander was acting weird, too. Because he knows... He knows. See? See? He knows our... Pa he was the one who set our parents free, and he's our Uncle Yashima. Just saying. Well, that's nothing new for him. Ah, you have a point. But still... Anyway, let's just see what happens. The commander put her in our hands, after all. We must train her and oversee her growth. We should keep a close eye on her as she conducts her official duties as a member of the Blooms. Good idea. I'll make sure to as well. I like the fact that he is very much like, oh, what? God, I'm just, I just want to do my work. But yet, he was the most involved with us. Yeah. I knew it. It's definitely suspicious. Rewind and play it again. What? Guess who? I only know two people who even bother with such childish games. One is the commander and the other is... Oh. Kamui lied to us. You lied to us! He's like, I don't know who the other guys are. Liar, liar, pants on fire! So do you think they all know? Oh, I believed him. I figured. I figured they all knew. You know what I mean? Not only the girls knew each other, but the boys knew each other. You know what I mean? The boys know who the girls are. You know what I mean? And then Kamui was like, nah, I have no idea. And maybe he's just saying that because he's like, he has to. Like, I have no clue who they are because he, it's not, he's not at liberty to tell. It's not his decision to tell us. But at the same time, if they all know, why can't I know? You know what I mean? Unless he doesn't know who Kaori and Haruka are, but he knows Mocha. You know what I mean? Because they joined later. So maybe it's like, I know Mocha, but I don't know those two. And those two know each other and probably also. I would assume Ayamu and Tokyo know who Kamui and Mihaya are. I, I'm assuming. Even if the other two don't know. You know what I mean? But like... But Kamui lied to us. He said he didn't know anybody. And you know this bitch. Sir? He could be like, I do, but I'm not allowed to say. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Hmm. I knew it was you, Kamui. Are you obsessed with having me beat on you? You're constantly asking for it. Looks like you're, you're my punching bag again today. 
Now hold still. He didn't doesn't seem like the type that would be the punching bag boy. He seemed more like he's the quiet, delicate little boy, but then he got the sassy attitude. But like now he's a, you know you'll spice it up a little on me game. Whoa, wait, calm down, Mahaya. I told you hold still. Quit trying to squirm your way out of this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. I was just trying to cheer you up, Mihaya. I swear. I do not want nor need to be cheered up. When I chase you around, it's like I can feel my IQ dropping. If you have no reason to be here, get out. Uh, don't say that. If there's something on your mind, you can tell me. You seem pretty gloomy right now, you know? Does it have something to do with that video you were watching? That was a mission recording, right? Why are you looking at it? Hmm. Usually I wouldn't be. Feels weird to watch recordings of our fights. But there's something that's been eating at me. You mean how that Moravia person Lee recently came out of nowhere? Precisely. Doesn't she make you curious, Kamui? She talks and is clearly sentient, but she acts like one of the... She acts as one with the vectors. I mean, yeah. But we can only get so much info. We should leave that job to the grown-ups. Aren't you scared at all? Scared? Of the commander in them? The commander? Other adults? They all worry me. I can't trust them or take them at face value. I feel like they're hiding something. And when I watched this video, I realized... The link between Moravia and the Vectors. The stuff I've overheard from the commander and the others. It all gives me a very bad feeling. I think I kind of understand what you're getting at, Mihaya. But you know, if we quit fighting, people might die. It could be someone we all care about. And even if it isn't, that person would still matter to someone. So I want... I want us all to keep on fighting. I really don't think we have a choice. You might be onto something. See? Now I'm imagining all kinds of weird disturbing scenarios because of all this overthinking. Tell you what, I'm going into town. When I come with me, Mihaya. Oh, no. That's not my scene. Aw, oh, come on! Up, up! Let's go! They're kind of adorable. Shameful past. Ooh. Ah! Seriously? Like... Look at Tokyo. Look at him. It's like Tokyo. Tokyo? I, it's like that, but I keep I keep put the enunciations in the wrong way. But like, look at him! Why is he so beautiful? It's like he like seriously. Okay, there's nothing wrong with any of them. They're all kind of adorable and cute in their own way. But he just feels like he came from another game. Slightly different. It's like same artist, different like a different game though. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I drew him for a different game, but we slept. And you're like, there's something about him that just it hits different than everybody else. What is it? Why? Why? Is it just the glowing eyes? Because everybody else's eyes are a little bit darker. Because even Mihaya's eyes are like a darker green. So they don't glow as much. Like, I don't know what it is. I just... Skin tone's a little different. But, like, Ayamu's also paler than the other two. So, like, it's different. And it's not even the difficult... There's just something about him that's different. And it's like, why do you... St it's like they purposely, like, draw him slightly different. So he stands the fuck out. So he slaps you in the face. And you're like, I can't help it. He's hot. And then they put glasses on him because they knew. They fucking knew! I'm not complaining. I love it. I'll just stand in there. Tokyo, I think it'd be best if the two of us started talking first. Huh? Oh, right. Well, this is the first time you two have come to the research district after all. Why, no, uh, this isn't my first time, you know. I totally frequent this joint. Yep, okay. This also answers the question that they all know everybody. So, again, that's what I assumed. And when Kamui's like, nah, I don't know them. I was like, what? That's so fucking weird. I should have just assumed he was lying. Did I? Was I like, is he lying? I don't know. He could have just said like, well, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. It's not my bit. It's not my place to say. And then we would have been like, okay, cool. And dropped it and whatever. But he lied to us. Sir. Also, I'm very curious as to why they were told, like, I mean, obviously they know that I'm a real girl that turns into a magical girl, not a boy that turns into a magical girl. You know what I mean? 
because they saw me and then all of a sudden I showed up and then it's like, here you go, magic. And then it's like, they were like, that's the girl. And then I tr- was transformed here. So it's like, they know, they know my secret identity, but like, it is where they were like, wait, you all know me, but I'm not allowed to know you. And they're like, nope, bye. I could get why they didn't want to tell us, but it's also a little weird. That's one of the little loopholes in the game where you're like, it makes it more fun not knowing until you find out secretly. But I don't understand why they went with, well, we'll find out in the other ones, but I don't know why Kamui went with, nope, I have no clue. Instead of, I do, but I'm not at liberty to just, it's not my business to share. And we'd be like, yeah, no, I get that. Cool. No worries. And then like, we wouldn't bring it up again. And then she just drops it. I feel like there would be people that would have problems with that and go, well, but that's not fair because they know who I am and they all know each other. Why can't I know who they are? But you'd have to look at the game and be like, well, it's because they're dudes. They turn into magical girls. So, like I can understand why they want to keep it a secret. And it's not Kamui's business to share that with me. He knows who they are. If they want to share that with me, they can, you know, otherwise. So, I mean, like I would have accepted that as opposed to him lying to me. Rude. <laughs> Stop on that. Anyway. It's not my first time here either. When my superpowers awoke, I was dragged here so many times that I got sick of it. Any Oh, anyway. Why are you talking so weird? It doesn't really seem to fit you. W- what? There's nothing weird about it. This is just how cool guys talk. Well, in any case, these gatherings are nerve-wracking even if you have been here before. It's the same for us. We've never met other people who have superpowers like we do, so we're also pretty nervous. So this is like probably when these two joined. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I'm not that nervous, honestly, but it does feel pretty strange. He kind of actually, you know what's really funny? The little smirk on his face right now absolutely is a Kaori smirk. He doesn't quite get as muppety as she does. And his, he doesn't have the saucer eye she does, but he, she has this little smirk, which is kind of adorable. It's always just been me me and Ayumu, after all. And then I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Ayumu. Mamiya. Mamiya. Mamiya? Uh, yeah, Mamiya. I'm a third year in middle school. And this is third year in middle school? In middle school? Is this supposed to be when they first met? Because they should have, like, aged them down. Because... They did say they've been doing this for a while, but they're not in middle school. Middle school would be be like, you're like in eighth grade. (laughs) They're too old to be eighth. There's either a translation error or this is supposed to be when they found their powers when they were young. Maybe they did get their powers when they were younger kids. But I don't know why they didn't. Either age them down or do shadow or something instead of showing you their current sprites. Because that makes no... Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Tokyo Takano. I'm in the same grade as Ayamu. Yo, I'm Kamui Saibara. I'm in my first year of high school. Guess that makes me the oldest one here, eh? You really do talk funny. I'm Mihaya Araki. Middle school second year. Suppose that makes me the youngest. Okay, this is supposed to be when they first met when they were younger, but they didn't change their sprite, so it's awkward as shit and weird. So, hey, everyone here has superpowers, right? Uh, when do you use them? Uh, When you use them, do you, you know... Are you asking if we transform? Yeah, that... So it's not just me who turns into a girl? Uh, I suppose not. Do you want to see... Um, well, I mean, I guess I don't mind, but does that mean I have to transform too? I'm still kind of embarrassed about it, to be honest. I figured maybe you'd all be used to it. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Yeah, I was even thinking of making up a persona in my head that I can switch to when I transform. I don't really want to change my mindset. Tokyo doesn't feel any specific way about transforming. I think his personality still does change a little. Really? Then maybe I should come up with Kamui female version Persona 2. <laughs> he does. I talk all this and I do not use contractions sometimes. <laughs> Never mind that. I'm more interested in this thing we're handed. This brown thing. Oh, the charm. 
We recently got them, too. You can use it to transform at will. Right, right. He told us to always wear them, so I was thinking of treating them like a fashion accessory. What do you two do with them? We've already changed mine to my liking. Check it out. Did he put it on a little magical girl wand? I'm sorry. Stop it! Why are you adorable? Oh my god, he's ridiculous and I love him. Huh, that's... Kinda looks like the glittery scepters that magical girls wield. Am I imagining the connection? It doesn't look like one. It is one. Hey, Tokyo. You didn't have to do what the commander suggested. Are you really okay for it to look like that? Huh? I figured it'd be hard to lose the charm if I made it look like this. Is there something wrong with it? <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! If I didn't... If you weren't already the one I'm most interested by, then you, they show you with glasses, and now you're just ridiculous. You're like, I made a magic girl wand, and they're like, you didn't have to do these. Like, eh, well, whatever. <laughs> Stop, sir! I'm gonna cry. No, no, not at all. It's just... Oh, I see. This is the local freak show. <laughs> Troubled waters lie ahead. I love him so much! Everybody else is like, like freaking Kamui being like, I made a phone strap, and Tokyo being like, I made a magical girl wand, and you're like, um... And he's like, what? Why? Is it weird? And you're like, maybe it no, but like, yes, but like, also no. <laughs> like, he just takes it as it comes, whatever. Was this Kamui's daily life? I think, I forgot, I didn't read the title, I was laughing too hard. We're, it's gonna go over, obviously, because we're reading all these, but whatever. Hey, Kamui, are you going home now? We were about to head into town, you wanna come with? Oh, I actually need to do something today. But let me know whenever you go again. Really? Bummer. You absolutely have to come next time. Sure thing. See you later. I actually don't have anything to do, but I just want to be alone sometimes. I might run into those girls again if I go into town, but if I go back to the dorm, someone might see me. Kind of wanted to hang out here at the academy, but... Well, maybe the roof would work. I'll try there. Bingo. No one's here. This is what I'm talking about. I'll just kill some time here. Let's see, what's on the docket for this week? Tomorrow I gotta go shopping with some underclassmen. I got karaoke the day after for a friend's birthday. I think it's already reserved. Hmm. Not ah, crap. There's an email from Gramps. Totally didn't see it. He sent it this morning. Let's see, he's saying that I take too long to respond and that I never call. What's up with him? He's not my girlfriend or anything. He's asking if I'm eating right and telling me to visit sometime. <laughs> Gramps hasn't changed a bit. Also, he's worried that I'm pushing myself too hard. Hmm. He sure knows me well, huh? I wonder if I'm being useful enough. Whoa, that sounded messed up. This isn't like me. I gotta snap out of it. It's weird for me to be weak. Come on, man, cheer up. I wonder what funny videos I can find. Something that'll pump me up. Hey, this one looks good. Let's see. Hmm. What's going on? It's way different than what I thought. Wait a minute. Uh, zombies? Is this a horror movie? But the title is Boogieing Down. It's totally false advertising. Mm. Boogieing Down with the Boogeyman Zombie? I don't know. Yeah, now there's a mummy. It's not a horror movie. It's a mishmash of monsters. Where's the stop button? Ah, crap. That's the volume. Ah, somebody stop this thing. Kamui's an idiot. Yeah, that was Kamui's daily life. Now, Kamui's thoughts. Hmm. Is this... That's right, I'm in Gramps' house. With her. I was feeling better, so I guess I took a nap. Ugh, I'm the worst. Hey, where'd they go? Oh, uh, there's a note. Gramps went shopping, and she had to do something, and will be back soon. Pretty considerate of them not to wake me up when they left. They're both so kind like that. She's not even my family, yet she's doing all this stuff for me. She not only brought me here, but she's sticking with me. I always thought I was nothing without foresight. 
But she showed me that's not the case. So this is like toward the end, right? I, I really care about her. She's important to me. I think she always will be. You're getting your memory back. Thank goodness. I'm so glad. I get so emotional when she cries. I never used to be like that. But I always want her to smile and be happy. If possible, I want to be the I want to be the one by her side. Whoa, did I just think something super cringe right now? No, but you said it. <laughs> it's cringy to think emotions are cringy, okay? I never actually thought I'd feel this way about someone. When I look back on my other relationships, they really were just friends to me. <laughs> and that means I've never had romantic feelings for anyone before. I'm sure they noticed that too. And then, she's my first love? Once I got into high school, everyone started saying I was a player, but I really am a total noob in matters of the heart. Ugh, how sad am I? Hmm, wait, actually... What does she think of me? I'm sure she's heard the rumor going around school. Like I'm always walking off with different girls, and she also saw a bunch of them surrounding me. Ah, oh, jeez. Am I awful? Guys like that aren't keepers. How, what do I do? I finally met a girl I like, but my past is dragging me down. That's the worst. Huh? Someone's coming. Could it be? I knew it. It's Spacey. Hey, you're back. Oh, hold on. I'll get the door. All right. What's past is past. I just have to accept it for what it is. I have to get her to see how I am now. That's the only way. He's adorable. I love that. And that's it. Okay. Oh, it was, and we have nothing for unknown. We have his top secret investigation. And then we have one more. Thing. Internal investigation report. File 2. Camille Saibara. Is this some kind of interview? Hey, it's like I'm famous. Cool. Start with, something bas start with some basic facts. I'm Kamui Saibara. I'm a devastatingly handsome third year. My birthday's January 7th, and don't you forget it. What's that? You think I started putting on an act when I started high school? Hey! Why you gotta point that out? The past is past. Just forget about it. I want you to see me for who I am now. Shameless self-promotion? Oh, come on, that's cold. Whatever, next question, please. About my family? Hmm. I got Gramps. My parents died in an accident, so I've been living with him for a while. He kind of gets on my case sometimes, but he's the only family I got, and I love him. I live in the dorms now, so I don't see him that often, but I try to visit as much as I can. Now you want to know about my ability. Huh? I gotta talk about when I transform, too? Oh, so that's what you're really asking. You want to know why Santa talks that way? When I joined the Blooms, Ayumu told me it's better to take on a different persona. I didn't want people to find out my identity, so I tried acting totally different, and it just ended up that way. But it's hard to talk about things from a girl's perspective, and I'm not great at responding in general, so I end up, sta sa I end up sounding standoffish. Eh, fine. I admit I was all over the place, but it'd be weird to change my personality halfway through, so I felt it was best to stay that way. Discovering I could use foresight was a happy accident for me. I was useful to others, and I was the only one who had it. Well, that's all in the past now. I know there are more important things than having some special power, but there's a whole lot I would have never experienced if not for foresight. Sad things, happy things, and everything in between. It all made me who I am today. I like that these are like, like kind of just short little things. And this is where we get our last CG. Hmm, interview's all done? Oh, hey, by the way, you recorded it, right? What are you going to do with the recording? You're just using it for the report. Well, so then you're not going to let anyone else listen to it? Well, I think I said some pretty embarrassing stuff. Especially that last bit. I accidentally almost mentioned her. It's all thanks to her that I was able to overcome my problems and get to where I am now. I'm really grateful. Actually, I wouldn't say just gratit- I wouldn't say it's just gratitude. I do like her, after all. I was afraid to let someone get close to me, but now I can declare it proudly. I like her, and she's special to me. Well, I'll talk about embarrassing. But it's not like you're recording anymore, right? Wait, what? Yeah, it's still recording? Turn it off! Actually, delete it! Just the last part! Now! <laughs> I 
that's our CG is him just sitting there like, uh, you know what though? Like, I don't know why I was, ex I was expecting it to be like a super cute, adorable. I mean, this one's cute. Don't get me wrong, but I was expecting it to be like, oh, and to the like, it's kind of goofy. Oh, that's it. Okay. That was it. I, I really expected something better from the CG to be fair. Okay. I did expect the last CG to be a little bit, I don't know, because you know what I mean? Like, it's the last CG, and, like, this one is so sad. You know what I mean? It's so pretty, but it's so sad, and you're like, oh, like, this poor thing. And then you're like, oh, whoops, I forgot. And then you have this one. <laughs> oh, it's not good. It's not bad, you know what I mean? But you're like, it's not, like, a nice adorable CG that you want to end a part on. And, like, you can't end a part on this one because it's depressing. You're like, this one's so sad. Look at him crying and his eyes are so empty. You know? I mean, sure, we technically have our kissy CG. You know, but it also doesn't quite look like we're kissing. It looks like we're kissing his cheek, to be fair. You know what I mean? Although him and Gret, that one's cute. He looks goofy. I mean, that one is still adorable, even though we look 12. We did that one. That one's still cute. You know, we're the first time he's just hanging out meeting us. But to be fair, this one, I do like this one a lot, even though we do look 12. So we'll go with this one. This is our kind of like adorable, like, look at us, we're babies. But anyway, that was Kamui's route. And that was all of the little after stories and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so that was it. Um... I think Mihaya is next. And you guys, hopefully, in the some part point, some po bird, stop eating my headset. At some point, hopefully, I didn't realize that I was going to have all of this done. Hopefully, somewhere in the first couple of parts that get put up, you guys will let me know what you think about the route order, because now it'll be too late. By the time you see this, I might have Mihaya's route all completely done. And already be starting on our third one. So hopefully we've gotten suggestions. Are we going to do like Kamui Mihaya and then we go and do Hyuga and Yukinami and then go back to Ayamu in Tokyo? Or are we going to do all of our magical girls and then do all of our evil boys plus one magical evil girl? You know what I mean? Uh, part of me likes the idea of going back and forth. You know what I mean? But I guess we'll see after. I kind of like the idea of going back and forth because then we save kind of two of the characters. Like, I think Ibuki is really cute, too. So, and interesting. So, I don't know about Ryo being the last route, but okay, sure. But then we save Tokyo and Ibuki to, like, third to last and second to last. um, As opposed to doing Tokyo sooner. You know what I mean? Uh... But we'll, we'll see. We'll see what everybody thinks. Um, and if there's no clear consensus, who knows what we're going to do? I don't know right now, but we will do Mihaya's route next. So that's what we'll be starting for you tomorrow for me in a couple of days or something. Because I got to catch up on another game. So Woo! anyway, I will see you guys next time. Oh, and I forgot. I've had fun with this. I liked this so far. So I'm having a great time. It's a little goofy. Things don't make sense. I mean, you know what I mean? There's not a lot of super depth and some things are like, what the hell? But, you know, overall, for what it is, we're having a good time, I feel like. So I hope you are, too. Um, and Kamui's route was great. He's a good character. I liked his route a lot more than I was expecting to because, like, he wasn't a character that stood out to me at first. But, like, he's really kind of adorable. You know, we love him good boy so anyway i will see you next time remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more